I remember that beginning typing class as if it were yesterday. I was lucky enough to have Miss Purcell as my teacher. She taught us much more than typing. She was teaching us to get along in the business world, and typing was only a part of it. All right, class, stop typing, please. Before we go on with the next exercise, I'd like to make one of my little speeches. This is your first course in preparing for an office job. You're starting a new career. It can be fun, or it can be hard. It all depends on the way you look at things, your attitude. For instance, you'll be working in an office. Well, don't forget the golden rule works there, just as it does anywhere else. Treat others as you want to be treated. Here's how it applies to an office. First, of course, know your job. Enjoy it, but also enjoy the people that you're working with. Be considerate of them, and be considerate of your employer. Remember those simple rules of office etiquette, and you'll get along in the business world. Now then, let's do skill building practice eight. Stay margin, begin typing when ready. It wasn't till I got my first job that I really began to understand some of the things Miss Priscilla told us. I think this application is filled out all right, Mr. Arnold. Thank you. I see you're a student of Miss Purcell's. We have a number of her former students with us. Her recommendation means a great deal here. I enjoyed being in her classes. You did very well on your test. Can you start Monday morning? Monday morning? Oh, that would be wonderful, Mr. Arnold. We're a small organization, Miss Spencer. We find that getting along with people is pretty important. Do you think you can do that? Oh, yes, I think I can. Fine. We'll see you Monday. I believe your coat's in the outer office? Yes. And thank you. I was a little worried about that first job. I guess everybody is. But Miss Purcell's advice kept running through my head. First of all, know your work. Enjoy it. And also enjoy the people that you're working with. Be considerate of them and be considerate of your employer. Remember those simple rules of office etiquette, and you'll get along in the business world. I planned to get there early that first day. I wore my good suit because it was plain and neat and seemed just right for an office. Good morning, I'm Joan Spencer. Oh, yes, Miss Spencer, we're expecting you. Miss Hamilton will be your supervisor, and she's on her way in now. Won't you have a seat? Thank you. How do you do, Miss Spencer? Ready to go to work? I'm looking forward to it, Mr. Arnold. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Hamilton. This is Miss Spencer. She's the stenographer and file clerk who's starting this morning. How do you do, Miss Spencer? I understand you're one of Miss Purcell's students. Yes, I was graduated last semester. I know her quite well. I'll show you where to leave your things, and then we can get to work. All right. Girls, this is Miss Spencer. Miss Hamilton and Mr. Arnold certainly set a good example of courtesy for us to follow. This will be your desk. This book contains some of our forms and procedures. Study it a while, and then we'll start you on your first assignment. All right. The girls took me to lunch that first day. It looked like it wouldn't be hard to follow part of Miss Purcell's advice. The part about enjoying the people you're working with. The 
part about Know Your Work was a little harder. I did a lot on my own those first few weeks. There was many an evening at home getting acquainted with the company's work and learning some of its business terms. What a long time ago that was. It hardly seems possible now there was ever a time when I didn't know those terms. But I found that I still had a lot to learn. Some of it I learned the hard way. Thank you, Miss Spencer. Well, Miss Spencer. Yes, Mr. Kane? This letter that you typed this morning, I believe there was a mistake here. Oh? It doesn't seem to make sense. I can't remember just what word I used there, but I don't think I could have said this. Oh, yes, Mr. Kane, that's what you said. I have it right in my book. Well, suppose I give you this paragraph over again. Yes, sir. In view of our current production schedule, we think it will be necessary to curtail our order, number 3256. I had made a mistake, of course. It wasn't anything that Mr. Kane said, but I learned then to admit my mistakes gracefully instead of arguing about them or offering alibis. I learned to ask when I wasn't sure instead of making a wild guess. And I learned not to resent criticism or to brood over it. Since then, I've learned a lot of do's and don'ts about office etiquette by watching the others in the office. I learned that Miss Purcell's short sentence, be considerate of your employer, could cover a whole multitude of things. One of the most important things, of course, was doing office work during office hours. I found that writing personal letters didn't help to get the work done. I learned that personal telephone calls interfered with business. Oh, I was so mad I could have slapped her face. No, you wouldn't think she was that kind, would you? By that little cat. I learned that it's only fair to plan your personal life so that you're always able to put in a full day's work. That means working right up to the end of the day. And I learned that a date after work is no reason to break the rule about simple dress in the office. I learned, too, the importance of consideration for fellow workers. Thoughtlessness often makes for extra work in the office. <laughs> and hard feeling. I learned to mind my own business by watching some who didn't. Mr. Arnold wants to know if the insurance list is ready. It will be in a moment. Wait for it, won't you? You know you shouldn't do that, Jimmy. Do what? But most of what I learned came from the people who really know their jobs. I learned the importance of neatness and organization and planning work. And even though I kept getting more things to take care of, there were times when I could help others. 
and times when they would return the favor. All these things became even more important when I became Mr. Arnold's secretary. His work included public relations as well as personnel, so I had plenty to do. I had more contact with people outside the company, and I learned the importance of consideration for them too, and especially courtesy on the telephone. Good morning, Mr. Arnold's office. He's in conference just now. This is his secretary. May I help you? The Acme Printing Company. Oh, yes. Yes. No, that order was for 20,000. May we expect it next Tuesday? Oh, that'll be fine, Mr. Dahlmeyer. Yes, goodbye. Good morning. My name's Herbert Forbes. I have an appointment with Mr. Arnold. Oh, yes, Mr. Forbes. Mr. Arnold will be with you in a moment. He asks that you fill out this application blank. You may sit at the table over there. Good morning, Mr. Arnold's office. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fulton. He's in conference just now. May I have him call you back? Yes. Oh, yes. Well, that's the story. As I look back on it now, it's surprising how often the things Miss Purcell talked about in class apply here in the office. You did very well on your test, Miss Collins, but I suppose that's only to be expected of one of Miss Purcell's students. Does she still make that little speech on office etiquette? Oh, yes. I know it by heart. First, of course, know your work. Enjoy it. But also enjoy the people you're working with. Be considerate of them. And be considerate of your employer. Those rules have certainly helped me. I shall always be grateful for them. We'll see you in the morning, then? Yes. I'll be here early. Fine. <laughs> 